Here we go. I wonder how this is going to do in the in the movie. Yeah, if, if you don't like strobe lights, just close your eyes. Okay, so strobe lights, we use them in science for a long time. So how strobe lights work is it clicks at certain intervals. Okay. You got to see this. You got to be able to see this ball rolling. So if you have to move, do so. So here is a ball in a strobe light. Okay. Here's a ball rolling slowly in the strobe light. Okay. Here's a ball quickly in a strobe light. Slowly. Quickly. Okay, good with that. So, I know that was like a earth shattering demonstration. Here come the lights. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Here come some more lights. All right, so tell your neighbor when the ball is moving fast, what did it look like compared to slow and why? Yeah, it was, needs to be darker, but. Okay, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe motion with strobe like diagrams, be able to create position versus time graphs and velocity versus time graphs from strobe light diagrams. Okay. So. So if you saw the, if it was rolling slow, you saw the ball close to get like the image of the ball was close together versus fast. Well, we'll make that more apparent. Fast, they're farther apart. Um, why? Flashes happened, occurred at equal time intervals. That makes sense. Faster uh, you go, the more distance is covered each 
time interval. Can you read that from the back? Not... Cool with that. Any questions there? Does that make sense with what you that conversation you just had? Hopefully there's some correlation there. Okay. So the strobe light diagrams that I'm referring to are the ones up top here in the title block. up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. It's just showing that Correct answer is B. Everybody good with that? Moving in the positive direction, a constant. Good warm up question. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. answer is what was it as in dog yes. good okay you start slow they're closer together you have a shallow slope here you're fast you're you're further apart you're covering a lot of distance in the same time interval you have a steep slope up when you have a guess have a conversation sounded like a overwhelming D as in dog good job well done
by your neighbor. Correct answer is? There we go, B. Okay. Now, this diagram is the same as this. I just color coded it differently. The colors correspond to the same moments in time. Like where they are at that moment. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. Correct answer is. B. Beautiful butterflies. Go to that. So here and here. B. So right here. Here they are at two seconds. At second at the clock reading two. This ball is here, this ball is there. Okay, I'm good with that. Now I'm giving you velocity versus time graphs. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Tell your neighbor. Yeah. Correct answer is B. Ever get with B? up and you have a guess I have a conversation okay. correct answer is C how are we doing with that Never changed direction, always in positive land. Just went slow, fast, slow.
comes up and have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. Tell them why. All right, last question. Sorry, correct answer was A. Does that make good with that? B was con blue. Sorry, not B. Blue is a constant velocity. Cruise control was locked in. Okay, the orange or yellow, however you want. To. Started slow, close to zero, and over time sped up. Oh, wait, moved further away from zero on the velocity versus time graph. Yep. Great question. So this, um, this is showing the blue on increasing speed. No, I know that, but like, I don't get why the dots on the small are at the same spot. Yeah. I will answer that question after this. That's a great question. This question is a challenging one. Here's my suggestion or hint. That's the same motion. Consider the answer you chose. And does the answer you chose here correspond The answer that's in your brain right now. What does that hint mean? <laughs> Go ahead and have a conversation. What do you say? Get with D. D is in dog. Okay, I agree. Here is the point at which they have the same velocity. Here, not here. Okay, they have the same position at this point. And this point. But just because you have the same position, does that mean you have the same speed? If you're passing someone on the interstate, you have the same position that moment you're passing them, but not the same speed. So this guy, how do you know it's somewhere between two and three? Because they cover the same distance. In that two one thousand or two Mississippi between here and here, or three and four. Nope, because this one goes 
jumps two things, this just jumps one. Or three things, and this just jumps two. You know that? Does that make sense? With your previous question? Like they're at the same position. I guess the position thing, but like if the they kept going straight and then the other one kept going up and then the other one. Okay, so this is velocity. This is talking about their speed or the speedometer. The speedometer of the blue is constant. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. Sense. It's a good. It's good. It's a good argument. Like, like that. Those arguments need to happen. So tomorrow you've got a review worksheet to do. You got mastering. You can take a crack at that if you'd like. Done. Sadly, no. But I want to hurt to practice. Okay. I feel like it depends on